This uh, structure with the ligand one, where the um, phosphine is in position one uh, related to the nitrogen in the uh, phenothiazin, has the metal coordinated by both phosphorus and nitrogen from the uh, phenothiazin, which is uh, new. Um, it, it's a, uh, an example uh, not uh, found in the literature uh, with heterocycles containing uh, nitrogen and uh, phosphorus substituents uh, on the heterocycles. So we liked a lot this uh, structure. When the phosphorus in the, uh, in, is in, uh, located in position three, the classical um, square planar complexes of platinum and uh, palladium were uh, uh, prepared with nothing special here. What is special in the, the packing is the uh, interaction of these sulfurs with uh, uh, the neighbors, but the crystal structure was not um, attached to this uh, presentation. Uh, we checked the uh, crystal structures only a uh, few days before I left uh, Cluj. These are not unpublished uh, results. They are in manuscript, so it's not, uh, it's not secret. Uh, for when the phosphorus is um, close to the sulfur, we have the coordination of sulfur and phosphorus with the formation of the same square planar uh, complexes with both um, atom uh, coordinated. It's uh, uh, here we, we are in the situation of what we call um, hemolabile uh, ligands. Uh, these uh, bonds can be uh, broke and the complexes can be uh, used so, or can be tested for their catalytic uh, activity. Uh, and we did taste and this compound uh, gave better results in um, hydrogenation of uh, um, heterogeneous uh, bond than uh, the catalysts on the market and uh, in the literature to be published. Because the topic of the project, we got the results was the uh, interaction with the uh, biological system, we uh, uh, did the same tests as for the other compounds, DNA intercalation, and uh, it was um, done for uh, ligand one, then uh, ligand three and four, three and four, and for two of the uh, complex, complexes in uh, all the cases, there is an uh, interaction with the plasmid DNA, and uh, um, the results can be seen in the uh, image. We tested anti-tumor activity, but the results were not, are not very impressive up to now. We are working on that. As I mentioned, it's a research in uh, progress. Some uh, complexes um, very dear to me because uh, I was, uh, from the beginning, an organoarsenic uh, person. One day, Professor Hajduk, we all worked for three or four years in our uh, diploma thesis or master thesis with the phosphorus ligand. And one day, Professor Hajduk came in the lab and said, I decided one of you will work with arsenic uh, because arsenic is very interesting. And he looked around and said, Luminica, you will work with arsenic because your tongue is poisonous enough, so arsenic won't, won't harm very much. And um, I started to become the organoarsenic person, the poisonous person, uh, but up to now nobody died um, because of this. Uh, moreover, when I uh, had some compounds uh, tasted on uh, mice, because uh, when I graduated, uh, every PhD thesis should have had a very nice application at the end, and we decided arsenic and tin, organoarsenic and organotin, could make a very nice pair to kill some mice. And uh, we had the mice uh, tasted, and um, the result was the treated mice was happier 
and more energetic than the uh, witnesses. And I was happy because I thought they won't be killed. And I said, good, so they can leave. And the lady, the uh, medical school said, no, no, they are, they are already dead. We cut them to, to check the arsenic, to check the tin. And uh, uh, the answer was easy, it was simple, but by the time I uh, did not know that, so it's good to read. Uh, a little bit about the topic before uh, being uh, enthusiastic about the possible results, the arsenic and tin were bound together through sulfur. Both are acting with biomolecules through the SH groups. They already had the sulfur, not interested in biological molecules. They were just eliminated as they were. Sad, sad. But now I know better. Uh, so these compounds are lig uh, ligands um, with uh, arsenic and uh, oxygen in a uh, pendant arm. But uh, in none of these compounds, oxygen is not involved in the uh, coordination, only, only arsenic. Uh, this is a selection of the compounds. We have more compounds and more uh, papers published with the activity of these compounds. And uh, some of them prove, prove to be uh, as good as the uh, uh, cisplatin, um, to have better solub solubility and uh, uh, to be interesting for uh, testing. Uh, to be a little bit better than cisplatin is not enough. They should be much, much better to be uh, interesting from uh, the medical uh, world, and uh, I can understand this very well. So uh, we stay with phosphorus uh, this time, and uh, uh, not with platinum and uh, uh, palladium for uh, uh, anti-tumor activity, but with uh, gallium. And we uh, choose gallium because uh, there is already enough information in, in the literature that gallium can um, interact uh, in a way that uh, can be used in um, uh, medicine, in uh, cancer chemotherapy protocols. And uh, there are um, comments in the literature that the properties uh, of uh, gallium can be related with the uh, same size and uh, oxidation state with iron tree, which is present in uh, uh, living organisms. Uh, and uh, any um, speculation, any uh, comments on why uh, gallium can be uh, active are not uh, um, uh, significant. What is significant is uh, to test and try to understand the mechanisms of interaction between gallium and uh, um, cancer cells and uh, to do whatever uh, it is possible to uh, then to apply all the findings uh, during this uh, uh, research. And this is the uh, justification of uh, um, our um, work uh, and um, test of uh, gallium compounds in um, uh, therapy of, of cancer. And uh, we uh, choose after testing, uh, of course, uh, a series of compounds, choose two compounds. They are very similar. They differ only uh, by the uh, counter ion. Uh, there are complexes of gallium with um, uh, organophosphorus uh, thiolates. Uh, the compounds were prepared uh, by one of, of uh, my PhD students uh, several years ago. And uh, we uh, arrived to test these compounds um, starting two years ago um, within, within, within this uh, project. Anna Maria Valian is the mother of the uh, compounds, and uh, Eva Fischer is the leader of the group 
who did the tests. And the paper is published here. We already have the paper. It, it's in the journal in uh, Metalomics. All our project was called Metalomics, uh, by the way. Uh, a lot of tests was, were, were done uh, with these uh, complexes to check the DNA lesion, uh, lesions. Uh, to, uh, we che we uh, follow the gallium uh, cellular uptake by analyzing the uh, content of the gallium in the cells. Uh, it's a work done by another group. That's why there are a lot of uh, co-authors here, but each of these co-authors did something uh, uh, for the uh, test of, of uh, properties. Ultrastructural structural studies were done, uh, so we, we can see the uh, uh, cells uh, treated before and after uh, treatment with uh, two um, complexes, and you can see the difference. Uh, it was one complex, the other complex. You can see um, the uh, action of the two complexes on the uh, cells. Uh, the um, cells treated with the complex two. Uh, I will stop a little bit here because uh, the key expression in uh, relation with these gallium uh, compounds is the chemoresistant cells and chemoresistant, mm. the, the uh, ill people uh, needs um, chemotherapy in <laughs> in steps, and uh, the cells, uh, cancer cells, develop resistance as uh, normal in the nature. And these compounds were uh, uh, active against platinum resistant cells. And that was highly appreciated by, by our colleagues from the Oncology Institute in, uh, in Cluj. Uh, the uh, compounds were uh, studied extensively. For um, those of you who are interested in this uh, biological part, the uh, oncology part, everything is dis described in the paper, and uh, I have the uh, electronic uh, form of the paper published in uh, Metalomics. There are a lot of words in that paper I'm not familiar with, but uh, as I mentioned, I'm one of the authors, <laughs> and um, I uh, uh, did my part, of course. We had discussions with our colleagues uh, in Oncology Institute. The uh, lady I mentioned is uh, important in that group, was a PhD student of mine. She started studying the organotin compounds in interaction with the biological systems, and now she is working at the Institute of Oncology in um, uh, Cluj. So uh, this was the key. I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the uh, discussion. The activity of complex two, again, against uh, here is <laughs> that our colleagues at the Oncology Institute have money for uh, having somebody to design nice pictures, nice to, to see better what uh, happens. And uh, here you see the angry cells uh, looking at the uh, compounds. And uh, um, the comment is what I mentioned before, that some tumor cells develop resistance towards treatment with classical um, uh, uh, chemicals. Uh, the platinum-resistant carcinoma cells are responsive to the gallium uh, compounds. And uh, this is uh, a, f a fact which was highlighted in uh, our uh, uh, research. And here are the dead cells. They are dead, said we are happy. Uh, the, we, we got the, the proper result. Uh, here you can see the um, way the, 
they registered the apoptosis um, uh, response for um, the situations I was uh, talking about. So what we did in, uh, uh, with, with these um, uh, gallium complexes, we uh, studied uh, the in vitro effect uh, on the platinum sensitive and uh, platinum resistant uh, cells um, and all the uh, things they, they, they uh, checked and they interpreted are mentioned uh, here. And uh, uh, the conclusion of our study is that this kind of compounds are useful uh, in combination. I, that will be uh, mentioned on the next slide. slide in, um, in combination, probably with uh, platinum um, traditional um, uh, chemicals. We didn't stop here because the results were so promising in vitro. We uh, had in the same uh, project in vivo studies, and uh, uh, what was uh, good and we. Uh, uh, appreciated this as uh, promising is there was no um, uh, very significant uh, impact on the uh, mm, uh, composition of the blood. So the side effect, which is usually uh, specific to the platinum uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, was no, not uh, present here. The only significant effect was the decrease of iron content in uh, kidney tissue. The studies, uh, these were the, the first um, stage of the studies, in vivo studies, were done on um, healthy mice. So it was not uh, in relation with the um, um, tumor cells. It was just to see uh, to follow the, uh, the action of these uh, compounds on the healthy cells, because it's the healthy cells we want to save when we treat uh, the cancer cells. And the results were promising, and now they are working on uh, mice infected with cells, which I find criminal, but this is the standard procedure. I never saw the mice, and I don't intend to. Uh, they invited me, they uh, sent me pictures with the mice, which was cut, and, uh, and they wanted me to put on the screen when I presented the results of the project. No way. Uh, so, why gallium? <laughs> it's criminal. Uh, why gallium? The answer is that there are no, no, no aspects of the uh, um, action of the gallium compared, and as I told you, it's everything in the paper, compared to the uh, chemicals used now in uh, the treatment of uh, 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 cancer. We have had very good uh, response to the uh, platinum resistant carcinoma, and we intend to uh, continue and uh, develop this um, uh, research, maybe uh, to reach the final step, uh, which is the use, if not of this gallium compound, other gallium compounds. There are papers, even, even I, I saw in Angevant and in other journals, so we are not the only one. We did not discover the wheel or the um, hot water. Uh, we just found a combination of uh, compounds uh, to get results. And uh, yes, uh, what was, uh, of course, um, uh, done during this uh, uh, test is the synergetic, to, to follow the synergetic effect of the central metal, uh, the ligand, the cation responsible for the enhanced anti-tumor activity. So it's not only gallium, but it's gallium with the ligand and the counter ion. And uh, when I was at the discussion of, of um, when I, we found out these two compounds uh, have uh, 
good enough properties to be uh, to invest in, in uh, testing them. Uh, um, Eva Fisher Fodor asked me, which one do you think was better? And I said, probably the, the one with phosphorus. And she was very sad. She wanted me to say nitrogen. I didn't. And it was the one with phosphorus. And then I told her what Professor Hajduk used to tell us. You know, that's why I am a professor and you are not yet. Uh, this is, these are, this is part of, of uh, uh, my uh, colleagues and uh, uh, collaborator. It's uh, phenotiazine, um, heteroalins, phenotiazine, heteroalins, phenotiazine complexes of all kind. Uh, MSA is uh, factotum in the group, very good in microassisted synthesis, but the best uh, on uh, uh, mass spectrometry, NMR, in recording, I mean, uh, when MSA is not uh, around, we are almost dead. Natalia prepared the uh, platinum arsenic compounds. Now she's Miklashova and she's in uh, Bratislava, married to a uh, Slovak person. Anna Maria is gallium. Ioana is um, uh, phenotiazine, hydrazine compounds. Larissa is the, I don't know, she <laughs> has another um, uh, type of letters, is the uh, gold hand in preparing the phenotiazyl MIs. Uh, she was offered the position in uh, Regensburg University. Yanni Perezianu is everything, um, uh, cyclic voltammetry uh, synthesis. Raluca is again heteroalins. Uh, Agi and Tibor Heteroalins, Judith is the one with unpublished results. She will defend the thesis in September. Bren Bolas is uh, a PhD student with working in uh, the uh, border between organic and organometallic chemistry. And uh, Paul is a very skilled uh, boy. He worked on Troger basis and now he's working for another company in Leipzig on good money. Uh, Professor Radu Siragi, Associate Professor Radu Siragi Dumitrescu is uh, mm, responsible for com some computation and the uh, interaction with biological molecules together with uh, uh, his part of his uh, group. Uh, in Leipzig University, Eva Marie, everything which is arsenic and phosphorus. Paul Sabatier, heteroalins. Um, um, the Institute of Oncology in Cluj for tests. The, their group is uh, bigger and uh, co-workers in the uh, Uni University of Medicine and Pharmacy in uh, uh, Cluj. They all contributed to the results I presented you uh, today. For some of them, you can see the picture. Uh, here is the uh, not only the organic chemistry group, is, it's a mixture of the, uh, our groups. This is Paul who left, Anna Maria, Eva Fischer Fodor, uh, Eva Marie he Hawkins from Toulouse, and this is the very smart co worker of ours, Radu Siragi Dumitrescu. I know he's smart because he is my son. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I hope this won't disturb the uh, um, posting of the presentation online. Um, uh, the financial support was very, very, very important. I already mentioned that uh, everything was done within a, a project. It was at number 140 from 2008, and uh, we got uh, good money for the results. Here is only part of the results we got, and uh, the uh, Romanian Executive Agency for Higher Education, Research and Development, and you know, the innovation is heartfully thanked. And the last slide, flower from my garden. <laughs>